Hello. Hey. Greetings from Russia. I'm Nikolai Vinogradov and I'm team leader, engineer and programmer. My name is Yuri Glazov. I'm an engineer and a programmer. I'm Tsuren Fransuzov and I'm the chief programmer for the team. Our team, Nutcracker, set for itself the goal to produce a robotic performance based on the fairy tale by Hoffman, the Nutcracker and the Mouse King, and the ballet by Pyotr Lichikovsky. Tempod is the image of the main characters, Mary, the Nutcracker and the Mouse King, and to make the scenery we developed and built original robot designs using the Tetrix Mox kit and some other ready-made electronic components, and model as well as home parts. To make our robots move and interact in accordance with the script, we developed and debugged the software that implemented various algorithms and techniques, positioning, odometry, interpolation, computer vision, synchronization of robots using a special data transfer protocol, and state machines. The mouse king bot construction includes an undercarriage and a body. The undercarriage represents an only platform with a round base designed in a flash converter and laser cut from plywood. There is a battery, fixed camera, the self-made light sensor, a gyroscope, a color mark, four motors with encoders, and four only wheels on the only platform. The body consists of two parts, designed in Autodesk Inventor and laser cut from plywood, connected with stumpy and groove fixing. A Tetrix Prism controller, a DC motor expansion controller, a Bluetooth module, groove I2C hub, and two arms are located on the spiral parts. The arms are assembled from parts of the Tetrix first kit. The right arms of the mouse kit and the cracker have each three servers and a saber. The Marybot construction has two servers of each of the arms. The scenery by construction consists of an undercarriage, a body and a suit. The undercarriage is same as the other roads. The scenery's body has two sides, front and the back side. The front side of the scenery bot includes a pilot base in the shape of a Christmas tree, two Tetris motor controllers, a process controller and two additional motor controllers. The back side of the scenery bot construction consists of a screen, Two guys with the armies of Nutcracker and the Mouse King. The scenery bot represents a Christmas tree in the first two scenes. But in the first scenes, it turns its back to the viewer and demonstrates the battle of two armies. After the battle, the scenery bot turns its face towards the viewer and no longer moves. The implementation of a sequence of robot action in accordance with the scenario is a state machine in which the states are scenes in individual actions in them and the control events are the arrival of messages from other robots and the change of actions. The saber fight is realized thanks to four technologies, an interpolation algorithm for server movements, color-coded targeting using pixels on both robots, constant Bluetooth communication, and the positioning system that includes motor encoders and gyroscopes. At the highest level of abstraction, a server is a processor that receives a fractional number and brings asynchronously the shaft to that number of revolutions. During the saber fight, the code needs to know exactly where each of the three hand drives should be, but only a few points are known in advance. The interpolation algorithm constructs all lot of points. The camera processes the image on board and gives us ready-made data on the detected objects via I2C. The robots are color-coded, and the gloves are specially colored. This allows Pixie to distinguish them from other objects in the image. The robots are equipped with Bluetooth modes. Data is transmitted, is transmitted to them from Prism via UART. A data transfer protocol has been developed to synchronize robots. Motor encoders, when near motion, and the gyroscope, angular motion, are used for positioning. Like many others, we face many difficulties while preparing to perform in the RoboCup on stage discipline. The product like our involves a large number of participants with different skills in design, modeling, engineering and programming. But sometimes it's not enough only to have skill. A close-knit team is the most important thing in such a matter. We are here only thanks to our common work. Thank you for your attention.